Steven, you like music, right? You're asking, do I like music? Yeah, I'm going to the show tonight. Uh, you should come. I met this girl at a coffee shop. She'll be performing. You met a girl. Right. What? I can meet girls. Oh! oh. oh. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, well, I'm fine. I'm fine. I uh, actually managed to save most of it, so... Impressive. Oh, thanks. What's in here? A cello? It's my guitar case. No, I, I, I was just making a joke, like, because it's kind of big and this the shape of it. What's that? I'm just saying I hope I didn't break it. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. They drop these things off, like, ten-story buildings in the ads. In what situation would you find yourself having to drop a guitar off a ten-story building? I don't know. Maybe if you're... Famous playing one of those rooftop reunion shows like the Beatles did. Oh, okay, yeah. Are you that famous? No. Well, not yet anyway. This is her band page. Check it out. Uh, pass. I have a girlfriend. What does that have to do with anything? Unlike you, roommate, the physical attractiveness of the performer will not persuade me to see their show. <laughs> That's not what this is about. She's really good. I'm sure she is. Just listen. Hmm? Uh, yeah, no. You barely listen. Yeah, well, this music suffers from a lack of balls. Yeah, well, she's a girl, so... A female performer is just as capable of rocking balls as a male performer. However, this particular female you know, performer... Whatever, give me a break, dude. Yeah, no, she sounds like a prepubescent Roy Orbison. How would you even know what that sounds like? The Fort Worth Tabernacle Boys Choir. You don't have that record? Just... No? It's Essential Early Orbison. Do you have any Early Orbison? I have some Early Orbison. But not Essential Early Orbison. Is that a compilation? Essential or... Early Orbison. No, it's not a compilation. God, I just don't want to have to go to this thing tonight by myself. Oh, the pathetic truth is finally revealed. No, I will not be attending said show tonight. Thank you very much. Please, shoot, look, we talked for like half an hour. I really think there's like a spark there. So you are a grad student. Ugh, is it that obvious? What are you studying? Well, uh, my thesis is on the influence of the transcendentalist thinkers on the later works of Nikolai Tesla. Yeah, and I'm trying to see if there's like a connection there. Is there one? <laughs> no, it's not looking good, no. So you're a musician. Are you local? I travel around a lot. Uh, tonight is my first gig in Boston, actually. Oh, that's awesome. You know, I'm really into uh, music. Are you? Yeah, I I'm just gonna go, so. Do you wanna join me? Really? <laughs> I was totally smooth. Mm. Well, then I can only hinder your romantic pursuits. Yeah, but if I show up alone, she'll think I'm a loser. Or she'll think you're a confident, independent spirit. Or she'll think I'm a loser. Come on, man, do me a solid. You know I really only like avant-garde jazz fusion. Uh, oh, right, of course. I've seen your Spotify, yeah. How about I share your Katy Perry playlist? Katy Perry has a very powerful voice. Then why are you embarrassed to share it? People wouldn't understand. Can you let me up, please? I'm a firework. Shh. Can you let me up? Say it. You're a firework. Okay? Boom. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're not going then? I'm sorry, man, but standing around in a dive bar listening to an Annie DeFranco wannabe sing about the war in Afghanistan, just, it's not an optimal use of my time. Not an opt. You know what? Forget it. I am going alone. Oh, no, I didn't order a... I think that's fine.
rest, let's give a warm welcome to tonight's performer, Claire Thompson. This first song is about the war in Afghanistan.